Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be reviewing a set of the Data Dart Martin Adams Legend Darts. Um, I have had Martin Adams Darts in the past but I don't think I've ever reviewed a set. Now when these were released quite recently, um, just before they were released, he hit a, a 9 data with this particular model. And when I seen the pictures of them I thought they look rather nice them so I think I'll buy a set. It is quite a long and thin dart for me, so I'm not sure if they're going to suit me, but I'm interested to find out. So let's check them out. I'm reviewing the 22 gram version, the 95% tungsten. They're also available in 24 and 26 in steel tip and 19 gram in soft tip and the retail for £49.95. So the darts come in this cardboard packaging and on the back you got a fair bit of info about the darts. Inside you got a form inlay, a little plastic window and the darts come fitted with the data dart medium nylon stems and they come supplied with a set of the Martin Adams Legend standard shape flights. So the dart's fitted with a silver point and it's your classic straight barrel ring grip dart, quite a long barrel, got a tapered nose and then you've got these flat rings with a very fine groove in the rings painted white and then in between the rings you've got the red electroplated coating in a curved groove and as you can see you've got a smooth section towards the rear and then some thin rings and then another smooth section I'll show you a more detailed close look just now and they're fitted with the Data Dart medium nylon stems and the Martin Adams Legend standard shape flights so the darts have got a slightly tapered bull nose and for some reason they've painted the little lip of the dart there and it's just a kind of a flat wide ring grip but the rings have got a very fine groove in which is painted white and then in between the rings you've got this red electro plated coating very deep and curved grooves and certainly looks nice with the light shining on it so the bulk of the barrel is that ring grip and as you get towards the end of the barrel You've got a smooth section which has got the data dart name on but he hasn't got the player's name etched on so it's unusual. And you've got a couple of rings and three grooves towards the end and then another smooth section. But if you like your long straight thin barrels you'll probably like these. So that's the super close look at the data dart Adams legend darts the darts fit with a silver 26 millimeter point there's a tip and nose that's 5.3 millimeters then you've got the bulk of the barrel made up of the rings with the very fine white painted grooves on the rings and the fairly wide and deep curved red grooves that's 31 millimeters then you've got a smooth section with a thin ring on the side that's 8.3 millimeters some thin rings and grooves of four millimeters and then a smooth section on the end of the barrel of 4.4 millimeters length is 53 millimeters width is 5.98 millimeters twenty two point one four grams twenty two point one seven grams and twenty two point one nine grams full set up twenty four grams exactly here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied set up and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Just maybe around a medium to slightly above medium, mostly where the ring grip is as you can see, so 5.5 .5 at most. Just 
Dremel 5 champion to do it. Well, I managed to get a treble 20. Now, it is a really thin feeling dart for me. It's also long as well, which is not something I'm a fan of. But the thinness is the thing that gets me the most normally. Um, I can't remember what it was. I have already measured them. I think it was about 5.9, 5.97, 5 5.98, somewhere around there. So certainly a very thin dart but if you like thin barrels and long barrels then great I think for me as a front gripper though it probably worked better with a short stem just getting a little bit of spiraling and a bit of fish tailing um, that's just just down to the way I throw it and the way the setup works with, with my throw but I know lots of people do like really thin darts though Uh, managed to get a couple of troubles, so <laughs> better than I was expecting, but quite a nice sleek looking dart. So if you're a front gripper and you like a thin long barrel, then it still should be fine. I think that's in the treble. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh. Yeah, it is. So definitely a little bit easier to throw in terms of the balance from the middle, but it still feels very thin to me. Oh, another treble. Ah, that one went all over. I would say the grip. It's kind of a, a little bit edgy on the very uh, ends, but I think it's down to the thinness as well. So it could just depend on how sensitive you, your grip is. I think if it was a bit thicker, I'd probably feel the grip a little bit more, but because it's so thin, I'd say about medium level, just maybe slightly above it. But, Managed to get a couple of trebles again from the middle, so for natural middle grippers, it should be a nice one. I'm kind of expecting it to go all over from the rear grip. <laughs> it usually does when it's a very long dart. But it hasn't strayed as far as I was expecting, so <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. But I am gripping around where them few rings and grooves are at the very end so if you're a rear gripper who likes to spread the fingers along the barrel that might provide a nice little reference point there but it's just too long for me oh, i managed to get a treble <laughs> i love that And also as well, with it being a long dart, I wouldn't say the balance at the very end is that great, but if you're spreading your fingers along the dart, then it's probably not so bad. Oh, might be getting the hang of it. Oh, treble one champion. So it will work for rear grip, there's no doubt about it. But like I say, it just depends if you like a long, thin dart, and it's certainly that.
Oh, treble five, jump in again. And the treble 20, ah. You, well, I do like green, so I'll let it off. <laughs> so, there you go. That's the data dart, legend Martin Adams darts. Now, I do like the look of them. It's a really nice dart, but for me, the main issue, personally for me, is the thinness. I know I don't always like a long dart, but I do have a, a long dart, which I've used for a, a long time, but I think that's easy enough to remedy with a short stem. So that isn't so much a problem for me personally as the thinness. Um, I can get used to a thin dart. There's no problems like trying to get used to it, but I just feel more comfortable with a, a thicker barrel personally. But if you like a long thin dart, it's a definitely a nice one. And I think front, mid, and in between that, just slightly front, front of middle and slightly behind, you're definitely getting the best for balance and grip but rear grippers i think if you're spreading your fingers along you've got a nice little reference point there and it's certainly not too bad there so if that's how you hold the die it may be worth a look for you if you're a rear gripper if you like your long thin darts it's a nice one so i'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and i'll see you in the next one happy darting